What's up guys, my name is Ordex and welcome back to the devil in me. Oh, this game has got me. This game has got me hooked, but scared as shit too. This is exactly where we left off, bro. Exactly. I'm just, I'm ready. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Yeah, Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, his staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, uh... Yeah, it's, uh... It's unique. Are you... It's special. Singing? Oh. Yeah, that's my being scared song. This should I put, put on subtitles? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I should put on subtitles, shouldn't I? Um... There we go. Sing and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Yeah. Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system? Yes. Thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's, it's just a half, dude. No, no. No, no, no. We've seen what's possible here. And here we are. Well, it's, um... Cozy? I wouldn't call it cozy. <sighs> Ah, uh, yeah. Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure? What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Wait, what? Uh, gross. Didn't school. you do what? What if I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows what you know. What is that? Wine. Genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're going to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. Amuse, you're so clumsy. Want to share mine. You're so clumsy. You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Ugh. I know. Witty. Where'd it go? Uh, it's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? Damn. You okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? No. Revenge? Because good job. Yeah. You sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? 
No. But seriously. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I just, I... I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. Is someone watching me matter. through the fucking painting? Dustin, allergies and... I just need or is it a mirror? You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Cozy. <laughs> you gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying. It's piquant. Decent vintage. Piquant. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones. A hint of citrus. Mwah. <laughs> Say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat drops. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. Okay, let's not be flirtatious <laughs> now. Oh, sorry. The wine is trash. Totally lied about that. Yeah. Really? Uh huh. Sorry. What I said earlier. I didn't mean to make you feel weird. It's fine. I... Uh, yeah, it's just... We work together and... Charlie is always on me about being more professional and... I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Er, er. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just... No. Um... Move in. Do it. Do it. What are you doing? I, oh my god, I, uh, I... <laughs> oh, you bitch! I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Ah, oh, It was giving me the options the whole time, so I just had to do it. Oh, sorry, sorry. How did you just slide out the bed? <laughs> How did you do that? Who is that? It's a mirror. <sighs> you creepy man. Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got ten minutes. What's wrong with him? Okay, we'll be down in a few then. Some, 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 some bottom is off. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. <laughs> To be continued. To be continued then? Yes, definitely. So, can I press C? Oh, C makes me be able to see all of this. What is this? A stiletto shoe. Oh, so these are all the things I found already. Bearings. Okay. Jamie. Witty. Antagonist. Stubborn. Romantic. Jamie and Kate. Pictures. Okay, we saw that one. Okay. I 
I'm sorry if I just breathing into the mic. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Why are they running? They took off, bruh. Where the hell are they going? Did he just sacrifice us to the man here? It's red. What is that the driver? What's wrong with the legs? Is that the driver? Oh, it's a doll. That's a doll. That's why it was fucked up with the legs. Charlie's bedroom, October twenty sixth, seven twenty seven p.m. I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls. Navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress. Or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed. Okay. Do I look fucking stressed? Uh. A little bit. That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh yeah, embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock. Charlie Key uses business cards to open lock drawers. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumas. Did you find them? I no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Jesus. Check the other bag. Destructive. Uh destructive. Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. That blue bag, front pocket. I made a specific mental note of it. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I I don't Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. Restrain. Details matter. Nah, restrained. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a yeah, right. The lobby. Addict. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. Okay. If she can find them first, can I look around the room? I could open locked drawers, can I? Why did it just flip me? How did it just flip me? Examine. T.S. Hartley? The Yellow Cross. What's this about? From the best selling author of Shroud of Innocence comes a thrilling reimagining of a history's most merciless massacre. Kill them all, God will recognize his own. Damn. Grip and thrill in history comes alive. This is hardly at its finest. The Herald. The Herald? Is that what it says? The Herald? The Herald? Hmm. Okay. And I can't. Inspect. It's my spare cat. Oh. Exactly the same? Well, it suits me. What's weird about that? I mean, you could get a different cap. Can I grab it? No. No, I cannot. Let's go, woman. Move out of the way, please. Okay, see, that the shit looks like this it's gone. Place is I can't believe we've lucked into this. Are you worried?
worried it will make our other episodes look cheap? They are no, cheap. No, no. Can't be helped. This will be the one that people remember. Yo, don't run away the from me, The one that wins an Emmy? Exactly. That's the spirit. Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. Yeah. You think we'll get another season? Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly, and I'll make sure you keep working. Sound good? Uh, sure. Hmm. Oh no, take it, 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 take it. Come on now. Take it. Thank you. Let's go now. I'm ready. Okay. Does this say... Good evening, thank you for allowing me to contact you directly. Your publisher said you were very keen to hear from me. It seems you have a mutual interest. I have spent several years constructing Ultimate Homes tourist experience by faithfully recreating the World Fair Hotel. We have not yet opened to the public as, there's n uh, as there are finishing touches to complete and I consider a man of your knowledge could prove insignificant. Oh, no. Inside. That is invaluable before it's official opening. Therefore, I invite you to visit the hotel for the weekend. Thanks, I'd be delighted to come along. Hey! Thanks, I'd be delighted to come along. I'm sure I can get my wife and two get girls to join me. My brother... Francis is in town at the, mo at the minute, so... That'll make up the five. I trust them all with my life, so I must put over the confidentiality. Grantham Dumet to Joseph Morello. Hmm. Interesting. Why are you looking so creepy at me? Where are we going? Downstairs? Charlie, I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Of course. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your Zero bags one seven and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. So what are we looking I, for? I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it's just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm Those were the last ones. A personal assistant? Sort of. Okay. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give. Why can't so I? Why is it locked sometimes? It's an opportunity to, to pass that look around. Right. So yes, confusing. It is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. Shut up. I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that are missing and not our gear. Right, that's what so, I was thinking. Do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. So huge. Where are we going? Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Erin, Doors with keyholes can be a luxury. Yes, yes. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth, <gasps> is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Oh, shit. Jackpot. Erin, I found the key. Bar. Oh shit. Where's the guy gone? Open it. Where's the bar? Is this the bar? Hold up. Um. Yeah. Is it open? 
hold up. So how do I use the key card? Oh, oh, okay. There we go. So why did he leave, huh? Mr. Monday, thank you for choosing Twilight Prairie as residency for your mother. Lucinda is already settling in very well. We encourage visitors as often as possible. And look forward to seeing you again. Okay. So if I can't open that, I can I open this one? No. This is for the door down there. I didn't find a noise, by the way. Use the key. Come on. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Search the bar for cigarettes. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Hello? Hello? Are you a robot? Mr. Dumas? Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What would Mr. Dumas, sir? <laughs> what? I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. Figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> One no pair way. of cigarettes. Prayer. Thank you very much, Prayer. my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't like him. I don't like the robot. Move the pot. Miss Kelly Schroeder. Once again, I would like to thank you for the incredible work you and your team achieved at the hotel. I'd like to send my heartfelt condolences. The accident that befell the skeleton crew on the lake is nothing short of tragedy and I, in part, feel responsible. In honor of them, I've spent the last several months applying the finishing touches to the hotel and I'm proud to say that we are almost ready to open to the public. Okay. Please allow me to extend my sig sincere gratitude. I invite yourself and the rest of your team to join me for the grand opening ceremony. 7 p.m. Friday, November 17, 2017. I promise a spectacular evening with themed entertainment, including a bar shop quartet. I'm sure you will agree that all of your hard work was worth it, and I it when you enjoy the unique hotel experience. Richard Belknap. Damn. Creepy ass barman. Oh, yes. those look old. Yes. Oh, of course, it wants exact change. Damn it. Filter cigarettes. It turned. It turned. Do it. Do it. Use the card. I hear someone. Oh my god! Oh my god! Next round's on me. Promise. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh my god! Don't call yourself daddy. Oi. Oi. 
No, no. No, no, no. We're not gonna smack it. Have some respect. Life would be so much easier with that in my jacket pocket. Find a way to get cigarettes out of the dispenser. How am I? I hear something. What? No! No, please! I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. Oh, I'm so on edge. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Lord. so on edge. <laughs> what? I'm so on edge. What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> no. Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes! Who's that? Who's that? Right. Who's that? That's it. Who's that? I'm gonna go and get my key <laughs> and they are gonna no. shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. What? I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Oh my god. I'm so on edge. Hey, I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot in the back. Maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. Cynical joke about job. Uh, Ernest wasn't the right move. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have starlight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. Shame you can set up lights. You look good in any light. Reassure. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. We're hitting the goal an hour, let's go. Can I say something? Before we... Look, can I say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. No, you're right. Support it. I, am. Uh... You're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> they're, they're they're pretty short. Where to? Uh, the balcony would make. Find a cool second angle. floor balcony. Let's find a way up there. Are you still alive? How's the new place? It'll do. For 
Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for a light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Okay. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. I was worried oh my god, I thought she'd disappear. Studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or. Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion of fly zone. Let's Where are you going? I see some shiny yeah. things here. You're probably right. Oh, this is creepy, so isn't since it? Since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my What's stuff? this cage? There's something back here. Don't zoom in. Don't tell me it's gonna zoom in last time. No. Nope. I'm done. I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. So if Why has he just here, left us here? Are we breaking one of his rules? You did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. Oh. We? So maybe we should take care. Probably. Where did he just go? Yeah, I feel like Dumet. Oh my god! Fuck <laughs> that, bruh. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Uh, it did, didn't it, Mark? Was he the devil, the truth by behind Merck's first serial killer? A must for Morello fans, real, real killer magazine. Oh my god. Like 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 this a hatchet. Takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. <laughs> can I? Okay, I can do anything. Jesus Christ, man. What's that book there? Huh? Mark can extend his monopod to reach high objects. Do it then. Inspect it. Use your monopod. Yeah. Get it. There you go. Bright's deaths marry. Oh, Bright's births deaths marriages. Mr. and Mrs. Robert Hall of Silver Spring announced the birth of their daughter Marilyn on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. Elaine and Stephen Wright of North Park announced the birth of their son Maurice on June 10th. Oh, that's the same day. At the same time. On behalf of their daughter Lucinda Monday, our grandparents George and Irene Monday of Silver Spring announced the birth of the dance of the day after. Okay. So creeped out. Can I look again, please? Taking these privileges. Hold up. There's gotta be a way through. You following? Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. Oh. There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. Back out. I was looking at this. Looks like Dumaine is trying to preserve things. Manny Sherman. On January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? 
What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet. What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You're taking a survey, you try to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. H H H. He was a real guy? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history. Is that really him? Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Jesus. Jesus. Ron is set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. it it's decay. Old house. You know Island what? Beaches with dead fish. I'm gonna leave this episode right here. A big ass cliffhanger. Uh, if you guys enjoyed these videos, then hit that like button below. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family. And I'll see all you dudes in the next episode. Bye.